say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we Streaming when the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled Good evening, friends, families, teachers, and students. It is my great honor to welcome all of you to this very special virtual ceremony for a very special and resilient group of individuals, the Pittman High School class of 2020. While we would all agree that these are extraordinary times, we take great pleasure in knowing that tonight we honor a most extraordinary class. Although we are living in a time and place in which conditions outside of our control have conspired to keep us apart this evening in a physical way, they cannot crush the indomitable spirit of the mighty class of 2020. They cannot diminish the bright future upon which they will soon embark and they cannot minimize the love and the pride we share for each of them. Difficult times and disappointments are an undeniable part of life. How you respond to these tough times and tough breaks are a big part of what defines you as a person. I think that we can all learn a thing or two from these fierce panthers, energy, passion, tenacity, grace, fortitude. I look forward to a time in the near future we can all be together and congratulate these remarkable young men and women face to face. But for now, we take a few moments on this day, the final day of their Pittman education, to acknowledge their achievements, to celebrate their individuality, and to shower them with our Pittman Panther pride. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Aiden Anderson. Wyatt Anderson. Julian Antonucci. Nathan Banks. Angela Bevelacqua. Emily Bowl
Harris Brady. Sarah Brennan. Kyle Brosler. Ethan Brown. Alexis Bruno. Hi everyone, it's Bella. I know that we've been dealt a tough hand due to the current world situation, but the cards aren't all bad. Over the past few months, more than ever, I've witnessed each member of the class of 2020 persevere, which says more about us than any milestone would have. I am truly grateful to have spent our last year as class president and to have made long lasting memories with each of my classmates. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the teachers, administrators, and parents who have cheered us on and cared for us over the past four years. As we step into the next chapter of our lives, I hope you all take the joy of being a Panther with you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Sean Carpenter. Emma Coles. Zane Coles. Nathaniel Conley. Dove DeGeorge. Grace DePaul. Thomas Derenberger. Vladimir Doherty. Abby Donahue. Cameron Dove. Delaney Drummy. Sophia Dzinski. Gia Falciani.
Michael Franchu. Hey everyone, it's Karis. I know the circumstances we were put in aren't at all ideal, but I think that we as a class have handled it with such a maturity that is unmatched, as the situation has really unified us in a different way. It has been a pleasure being your class secretary for our final year, as it has revived the love and care I have for the school and all of you. I have loved working alongside our amazing advisors, not to mention Bella and Gianna, who have become some of my closest friends. I will miss each and every one of you so much, and it has been a pleasure growing up in such a close-knit community. As we are going to be sent off into the world, it is important to never forget where you came from and the people and experiences who have shaped you as a person. Once a panther, always a panther. Love you guys. Meredith Bond. Jason Gaunt. Anthony Gigliotti. Dalton Geist. Carmela Grasso. Aaron Green. Ellie Green. Samuel Grossman. Mariah Hainsworth. Zoe Hanover. Adian Harms. Aaron Hickman. Dominic Ionella. Thomas Jackson. Tyler Jackson. Zahid Jackson.
Russell Johnson. started our senior year, we had no idea that it would end the way it has. But if there is one thing I have learned about our class, it's that we can get through anything together. Being class treasurer for the past four years has been a privilege and has taught me a lot about myself and our class. As a class, we have accomplished so much, including winning Spirit Week as juniors, and now we get to stand out in a whole new way. As the class that was faced with a terrible situation, but was able to come together once more and make the best of it. I would like to thank all the teachers and staff at PHS, but more importantly, I would like to thank our class advisors, Mr. Newcomb and Ms. Machowski, for being such an inspiration to me and making me the person I am today. I think I speak for everyone when I say I would be nowhere without my experiences at Pittman High School. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Go Panthers! Warren Johnson. Jeffrey Johnston. Antonio Kepner. Aaron Kelly. Henry Kowalski. Kylie Larson. Kerry Leach. Nick Little. Logan Lyman. Maggie Mann. Jacob Martin. Sydney Martin Jacob Maurer Shane McFadden. Michael Meehan. Mason Mickle. Kayla Morales.
Marco Morini. Jake Morris. Vincent Nader. Chloe Nafee. Jason Nagel. Color-coded study guides, a detailed plan for my future, and unfortunately for my teachers, long essay outlines. But I can say with certainty that I never could have planned for what has happened in 2020. None of us could have. Though I know we always picture ourselves ending our years of schooling together, throwing our caps in the air and running towards our best friends, our current situation doesn't undermine our accomplishments. Physically, we are not together, but emotionally, we are holding on to strength as one whole. Our class has shown repeatedly its passionate and driven spirit, and now is no different. We spent the past four years at PHS building a close-knit community. We worked tirelessly planning hallway decorating and making props. We joined together in seeing not one, but two winning hits at the pep rally and winning Spirit Week two years in a row. We planned coordinated themes for sports games to show our school pride. We even convinced Ms. Sal to do musical chairs, which is one of our greatest accomplishments because we find you awesome too, Ms. Sal. And we continue to persevere through these hard times as we look towards each other for strength. As we take this time to reflect, it is important to recognize the greater lesson to be learned from this unplanned time in our lives. We must be more grateful for what we have and learn to seize every day. Many of us took for granted our ability to see our friends every day, to say hello to our favorite teachers in the hallway, to sit and eat lunch with fellow students and laugh. And as we developed senioritis, we saw going to school as a chore. We never considered that we lose a prom or a conventional graduation because we saw it as things that we inherently expected or deserved rather than things that are blessings. But that has changed because we have changed. In the future, whatever your path may be, whether it's off to college in the fall, going into the services, getting a job, or so much more, may you take this lesson with you. As a class of the bright future ahead, we'll have lots of opportunities arise. And from this experience, may we learn to not only seize these chances, but also wholeheartedly appreciate them. May we learn to never again take for granted hugging a best friend, high-fiving teammates, or anything else that we used to consider simple constants in our life. To my family, friends, and teachers who have helped me get here today, I thank you. And to everyone in the class of 2020, may we cherish our good memories, learn from this experience, and arise stronger than ever. Caitlin Nagel. Owen James Orca. Marissa Ozer. Andrew Hagan. Dharmaraj Patel. Robert Peterson.
Gina Poitras. Daniel Howe. Alexis Price. Jenna Rob. Sebastian Reed. Ashley Riccardelli. Riley Rivera. Justin Rafino. Gina Salvatore. Paige Sanders. Joshua Schofield. Isabella Shaneline. Catherine Simons. Stephanie Singh. Keith Skinner. Mallory Skinner. Yasmin Smith. Nina Soon. Nora Stanwood. Darby Steely.
Gianna Selpizio. Daniel Tapkin. Ashley Thompson. Anthony Thorpe. Victoria Trotz. Isabella Tulio. Just like for each of you, this is not the end I expected. Almost instantaneously, a global crisis eclipsed each one of our senior rites of passage. We all feel some version of the anxiety of these times, but in its midst, the importance of celebratory reflection is not erased, but rather strengthened. The uncertain present does not diminish the feat we are recognizing today. The successful conclusion of 13 years of education made possible only by a tremendous investment on the part of our community, educators, staff, families, and of course, the students ourselves. Public education is the cornerstone of democracy, an investment that pays off dividends in good times and in bad, and shapes the future of private lives and collective goals. On a personal level, I feel deeply grateful for all of the opportunities bestowed upon me at Pittman Schools. I'd like to recognize my teachers who have devoted their careers to preparing students for a life beyond high school. Most especially Dr. Blass, Senorita Nichols, and Ms. Sal for teaching my favorite courses and nurturing interests I will pursue in college. Of course, my speaking here right now is in a large part testament to my parents whose immense dedication of time to her family and modeling of success inspire my best efforts. I think I can speak for all of my fellow classmates in thanking everybody acting out of kindness to salvage our experience and express their support. We understand some things are outside of your control, and we appreciate the creativity and commitment repeatedly apparent throughout our school years. The speech would be remiss without me also saying that the class of 2020 is special. Most of the time, this would be a tiresome cliché but this year it is uniquely accurate. By adapting to an unprecedented situation, overlapping with what is always a stressful turning point in a young adult's life, we have revealed maturity and resilience rarely associated with teenagers. For us, these challenges have been a crash course in the real world, one where tomorrow is never promised and nobody has all of the answers. As an indicator of the future, this newfound wisdom is a promise of hope. My generation will inherit the world's problems and combat them with full force. Emboldened, not embittered, we will put our education to good use and come out of this crisis stronger than ever. For this, I am extraordinarily proud of this class and excited for our future. Virginia Wahara. Brianna Vanneman. Juliana Valari. Anna Walker. Madison Whalen.
Declan Worley. Bryce Yordy. Charles Young. As a representative of the Pittman Public Schools, I do solemnly attest to the accomplishments of this class and I hereby acknowledge that this group of distinguished students have met or exceeded all of the academic requirements as stipulated by the New Jersey Department of Education and the Pittman Board of Education. Dr. Sherry Lombardo and the Pittman Board of Education, ladies and gentlemen, I now proudly present to you the Pittman High School Class of 2020. Here's a song to Pittman High School, rally to the call. Make it three times three, oh students, sing it one and all. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, all will back thee true. And will make thy halls and portals ring with triumph new. Here's to you, dear alma mater, best one of them all. Though the miles may and between us we'll come as thy call. Sing once more to Pittman High School, praise her to the sky. She is the pride of fair New Jersey, hail to Pittman High. Here's to you, dear alma mater, still Welcome to the class of 2020. As of tonight, you are all officially Pittman High School alumni. During your time at Pittman High School, you have had countless opportunities to gain personal experiences, whether it's through the drama, sports, the choir or the band, or joining an activity. All of those gave you a chance to learn a skill, show initiative, and make memories that last a lifetime. And even with all of those things, I know that it feels unfinished in some way for the class of 2020. But I'm hoping that you have gained something over your time at home that can never be replaced as well. I hope you gained a skill in technology that you didn't have before that you can take to college, take out in the work world, or take to the military. I hope that you gained an understanding of how important personal face-to-face -face interactions are. I hope you gained an understanding that things can change in the blink of an eye and to cherish everything you have. And last but not least, I hope you gained family time. Family time that was unique and family time that can never be replaced. With that, I would like to say that I will truly miss the class of 2020. And I felt it fitting that I give this talk where it all began, in B-Hall. Your lockers, if they could talk, I could only imagine what they would say. I wanted you to have one last opportunity. 
to see where it all began. Yeah. 